Getting started is easy. This video provides a quick start guide for your new PowerFlex powered cot. Please refer to the manual included with your new PowerFlex for detailed guidelines and usage instructions. Also refer to the manual for guidelines on the proper care and maintenance of your PowerFlex. Before placing the cot in service, be certain all personnel who will work with the cot are trained. Preparing the cot. Before placing the PowerFlex in service, you must connect the power pack and attach the mattress and restraints. To connect the power pack, connect and screw in the control unit connector and the actuator unit connector cables to the power pack. Use all three restraints provided with the cot to secure the patient on the cot. To attach, use, and maintain restraints, see the supplied restraint user's manual. The PowerFlex includes a locking mattress with five hooks on the bottom to anchor the mattress to the cot and limit its movement. Be sure all five hooks are properly secured through the holes in the bed panels. Raising and lowering the cot. The main power switch for the PowerFlex is located at the center of the foot end control panel. Turn the switch on to use the cot in its powered mode. A green light in the switch indicates the power is on. Large touch pads on the control panel operate the hydraulic power system. Grasp the main frame and position your hands so you can access the touch pads with your thumbs. Press any part of the blue touch pad on the operator's left to lower the cot, fold the cot, or load the cot into an ambulance. Press any part of the green touch pad on the operator's right to raise the cot or extend the legs when unloading the cot from an ambulance. Use the following memory aid to remember the touchpad functions. Left equals lower or load. Right equals raise or unload. To raise or lower the cot, both operators stand at opposite ends of the cot and use an underhand grip to grasp the main frame. Shorter operators can lower the drop frame and foot end lift frame for better leverage. The PowerFlex includes a manual release handle to operate the cot in manual mode if needed. Consult the manual for guidelines on the proper use of the cot in manual mode. Patient Transfer and Restraint To transfer the patient onto the cot, place the cot beside the patient and raise or lower the cot to the patient's level. Unfasten the restraints and position the restraint straps so they will not interfere with transferring the patient onto the cot. Completely lower the side arms and engage wheel locks by pressing the lock lever down with your toe. Transfer the patient onto the cot using approved EMS procedures and following your local protocols. Fasten and adjust the restraints across the patient's legs, hips, chest, and shoulders to safely secure the patient without causing discomfort or impairing circulation. Disengage wheel locks by lifting the lock lever up with your toe. Raise the side arms and adjust the backrest and shock frame as needed. Before moving the cot or changing its position, make sure sheets and other articles will not interfere with the cot operation. Loading the cot. Loading a cot with a patient on it requires a minimum of two trained operators working together. Both operators may stand together at the foot end corners of the cot while loading it. The cot can be loaded into ambulances with floor heights up to 34 inches. To load the cot, raise the ambulance folding bumper if present. Raise the cot to its loading attitude and raise the drop frame to the extended position. Adjust the foot end lift bar as desired. Verify the lift bar is locked before elevating the cot. Roll the cot into the ambulance until both loading wheels are on the patient compartment floor and the safety bar passes the safety hook. Both operators can then work together to elevate and hold the foot end of the cot level with the ambulance floor. The control operator presses and holds the blue lower load touch pad to fold the cot. Push the cot completely into the ambulance and secure the cot in the cot fastener. Unloading the cot. Unloading a cot with a patient on it requires a minimum of two trained operators working together. Both operators may stand at the foot end corners of the cot while unloading it. To unload the cot, raise the ambulance folding bumper, if present, and release the cot from the cot fastener. 
Both operators then work together to pull the cot out of the ambulance until the safety hook on the ambulance floor catches the safety bar on the cot. Keep the cot raised and level with the ambulance floor. The control operator presses the green Raise Unload touchpad to extend the legs and releases the touchpad when the wheels touch the ground and the cot is high enough to be released from the safety hook. The assisting operator then moves to the head end of the cot and lifts the red fastener release handle to release the safety bar from the safety hook. Roll the cot completely out of the ambulance and lower the cot to a rolling height. Contact. For more information on the PowerFlex or for help with a cot you have purchased, you may contact your authorized Ferno distributor, local sales representative, or Ferno customer service at 877-733-0911. You may also visit our website at ferno.com.